Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be setting up my May bullet journal. I am so excited. I have been dying to set this up. I do need to switch out my setup card because it is going to be a little bit different this month. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I'm going to do that. I just grabbed a large piece of cardstock. This one has some fun quotes and boxes all over. So I thought it would be nice to use one of these. You can use any type of journaling card to um, use as your setup if you are going to make one like I do. I just like to have it because I am still pretty brand new to bullet journaling. So I like to see exactly what I need to do and where I like my um, pages to go. That way it's not like all over the place. So the first page I like to have is my cover page, then my calendar. I also have made a draw with Bon like doodling challenge this month. I am so excited to start that as well. And then of course my tracker, my mandala, and then my loves of the month and new releases. Now I also wrote in number eight and I have other lines to fill in as well if I have other things this month that come up. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this down with a strip of washi. This is removable so it doesn't hurt the bullet journal at all. Every month I have been doing this and I don't see any flaw on the Loistrum. So let's go ahead and get started. Really quickly I thought I would flip you through April so you guys can see how that has been turning out. It is empty in some parts because I am filming a little bit early because like I said I have been dying to put down my May bullet journal and get that started. So I was keeping my gratitude in here but I have switched that over to my Erin Condren and now I am back to actually journaling day by day. So I do have a couple of blank pages left for that so I can finish the month off. So let's go ahead and start on May's bullet journal. I grabbed all of my May bullet journal kit plus a couple of extra little things. So this is the cover page here with cute little Ellie the lucky elephant. And then I also wrote all your dreams come true. So may all your dreams come true. And then I drew these cute little fireflies to go with it. I just thought that that would be a perfect little touch. And then of course I'm adding Boulder Bond to the right hand side there. Now moving on to the next page, I'm going to be adding my calendar. Now these are two large sticker sheets. I grabbed the brand new matte vinyl. It is so super soft and silky and has a really bright white to the page. If you guys didn't see my morning markdowns, I did that for a week and I showed you how I plan each morning. Um, I use this calendar for my Etsy store um, mainly so you guys can see I have added in a bunch of little things that I already know that are coming up. Now those won't be on the actual um, calendar that I sell in the shop. They're just for me, um, marking when my bundles ship out, the last day that you can order them. I'm going to be having a Mother's Day sale, so you guys are getting a little sneak peek at what I have in store for this month. Lots of other things will be showing up throughout the month as well, but I really liked having um, all of the information already on my sticker pages. So moving on to the next page is my brand new May Doodle Challenge. Challenge. Guys, this is the first challenge that I've done and I am super excited about it. I'm a very nervous. I don't think that I'll actually film me doodling, but I will actually put it on Instagram every day. I hope you guys join me in the challenge. Now, this is for sale in the shop, but of course you guys do not have to buy this. If you guys just want to follow the prompts along with me, I would absolutely love it. And then hashtag doodle with Bon May so we know what month it is. So let's go ahead and put down my May tracker. Now a lot of the things are going to remain the same this month on my tracker. I think I added like maybe one or two different things and um, subtracted a couple as well. Um, I think the no snack, yeah, is added because I have been snacking a lot lately. And that is the reason why I gain weight all of the time is from late night snacking. So I really need to get that under control. So let's go ahead and move on to my mandala. Now this is also in my shop, but it is sold separately than the Bujo kit. The Bujo kit comes with the cover page, 
the calendar and the tracker. All the other things you can get separately. You can also get the actual Bujo kit sold separately individually, but it is a little bit more that way. If you get it as the kit, it is a little bit better value. So I'm just adding in all of my moods that I usually have for the month. Um, I don't really like to get upset or feel like poo, but I have to write them down anyway. Now moving on to my loves of the month. This is where I like to write down all of the things that I have been loving for the month. Now last month I actually didn't do a video on the, um, the things I've been loving, but if you guys want to see what I've been loving this month, definitely let me know down below. Now I'm just adding a little bit of texture with my black Inkjoy pen. I'll leave a link to all of the things that I am using down below if you guys want to check those out. I'm also going to add one of my decals. This one says planner friends, Make the best friends because it is one of my loves of the month this month so you guys are getting a sneak peek at something that I have been loving for April and then I'm just using an Erin Condren ruler to section out um, areas for my loves of the month. Um, I typically like to do health, beauty, multimedia, home goods, and some yummy treats of course. And then the next page is for my new releases. So I went ahead and put down one of my sweet cakes decals. Now I messed up, so I pulled sweet cakes up, but I decided that I really liked her in the right hand corner anyway. So I went ahead and just stayed with new release. Like every day is going to be a new release. Who knows? We'll see. So um, the next pages are going to be for my journaling pages or whatever comes up. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching my May setup. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching everyone and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!